Good morning, CL fam! So it's the all go this morning, isn't it? Oh yeah. Liana's actually doing some cooking. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go down, but we've got the gardeners round. So of course Liana's decided that she wants to feed them. Uh, we've also ordered coffees which are on the way. How's it looking? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're going to put that in some bread and take it out to the gardeners and hopefully they'll be very happy that we've made egg sandwiches for them. Now, if you're wondering why the gardeners look familiar, they were the cheapest. The cheapest option. Oh, we're great. We're just saying, <laughs> what, in your garden in attire? Yeah. Well, you're fine. No one's judgmental on this channel, are they? Yeah. All you have to pay them is a coffee and some food. And that's yeah. it. Yeah, and they've done a great the job day. so far. Yeah, cheap labour. Cheap labour, raking up the leaves. It's looking lovely. Right, okay, comprehensive review of Liana's sandwich, please. Amazing. Is it nice? <clears throat> yeah. Well, this is the true test. Very nice. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, it's well really done, nice. babe. So we've got an ant problem now. <laughs> and we think they're coming from under here. Should we have a look? Yeah. The cat's water bowls are here and the food is there. And the ants always make a pathway around here, probably trying to get to the cat food. We should really pick that up once they've finished eating. We're going to try and find the source of the ant hole or nest and get rid of it. But first we need to pull off this radiator thing. We actually haven't done this at all since we moved in. The only one I've taken we didn't off is the one in the gym, but it's broken. No, it fell off! Yeah. Oh, you be careful. What? What is it? I don't think anyone's taken this off in years. I'm not even oh, joking. Oh, no. What's, what is it? Eh! That is disgusting. Oh my God, how many spoons have been living down there? Can you see all the spider webs? Ew, ooh, so it just fell off. That's actually making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, trigger warning. Woo! <laughs> that was a monster spider that was living at some point. Look at the state, they haven't even bothered to paint the wall where the radiator is. Look at all the webs. Oh my goodness. There is actually not one ant, but imagine how much like dust and dirt and poo we've been breathing in. That cannot be good for my asthma and that cannot be good for baby. That needs to be cleaned. To make things even more interesting, we've just found out that the radiator doesn't even work. <laughs> we thought it was cold in this room, <laughs> but you can't feel it because it was behind the cover. Oh my goodness. Why, well, hello there. I've been left by myself for the first time in... When did he leave me last? Actually, I don't think I've been alone at all since I've been pregnant. But I've had this like sudden urge. It's so weird because when I'm with Connor, I just want to I wanna do stuff. I'm like, I want to watch a film with him or no, I want to go out and do something because the weather's so nice. But I'm going to give you a little piece of reality. <laughs> So as you may remember, we built the drawers in the bedroom. <laughs> that was a few videos back. And I have no excuse. Um, yeah, so that happened. Don't know how that happened. You know, one day I woke up and it was all there. But I am now, I'm motivated to get it clean. I, there's something's come over me. Like I'm in the pregnancy groove now like our whole downstairs is really clean and we've we've done it we've nailed it we've packed everything away and then we've got my section of the bedroom which needs sorting i'm out of breath i think when you do social media everyone kind of expects your life to be completely perfect but i am honestly one of the messiest people in the world and i've you might have seen a video where i cleaned my beauty room as soon as i clean my beauty room it's dirty again within like three seconds <laughs> You know, it's funny because every time we go home, or I say go home, I go to Wales, which is my, my old home where I grew up. There's this thing called the Magic Sandra Fairy, and she's also known as Mama Sandra. If you leave the tiniest bit of mess in like the room that we stay in when we go, and we go out for five minutes, by the time you come back home, the Mama Sandra Fairy has been in the bedroom. <laughs> she will have tidied it. She'll be like, nope, no mess in my house. Anyways, I'll be back in a sec when this is, I say sec. We're back in hours. And just like that, several hours later. Now it's just keeping it like that. <laughs> but yeah, I cleaned the entire room and I did the bathroom. I was on a roll. I was feeling it, so I did it. So now we're nice and clean. Let's see how long we can keep it clean. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. 
Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Get in the range of the camera. Right, so you know how it's Easter today? No, it's not. Oh yeah, well you know how it was Easter one of the days last week? Yeah. But technically this <laughs> week, if you think about how some people think Wait. Sunday is the start of a new week. I... Is this my Easter egg? No, this is my prop, I'm the game master. I am the game master. Anyway, I've um, arranged a little egg hunt for you. Why do you look so confused? It's a, it's a garden rake, babe. You, you really yes, don't know why it is. is it my face? Because I'm the game master. I've arranged an egg hunt for you. By arranged, I mean I've sporadically placed eggs around the house. Um, not chocolate ones, unfortunately for you, but um, you've got to find know. them, and then there's like a grand prize at the end. So uh, I've got this one to start you off. Oh. <laughs> okay, babe, open your egg and let us know what your first okay. clue is. <laughs> is this just a really late Easter egg? Yeah, but you're normally good at these. Happy Easter, Babby One. You're probably wondering what's going on. All you must do is follow the clues. Your first one will be in your... Thong. <laughs> what? Sorry. All you must do is find the clues. Your first one will be in your... Poos. Poos. <laughs> in your poos. Oh, we're off. <laughs> else that rhymes with clothes. Yeah, well, have See, a See, the poos are shoes, and I haven't taken a poo today, so it can't be my I don't poo. think I'd make you delve through your poo, to be honest. Could be any shoe. Might not even be shoe, it might be zoo. <laughs> I don't have a zoo. Oh, this is really riveting. <laughs> I can't bend. Well, it's not in any of them shoes. It's in one of these. Is it in my Crocs or in my Crocs? Yes, babe, it's in your Crocs. They're not in my Crocs. <laughs> what? Should we just go back to the shoe rack? Is that you're telling me I've done a bad job at looking in the shoes? Possibly. Oh, I've just seen it, I've just seen it. <laughs> the pillow is where you rest your head. Your next clue will be under the, under the, under the bed. Under the bed, okay, let's go and look. I don't know if I'm strong enough for this. Do you want me to do it? Careful. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 Can we take a Pregnancy break? problems. <laughs> A harder one now, so you must think I'm hidden with something pink. Ooh. There's a lot of pink in this house. Pink. Well, that should be difficult then, hopefully. Are these pink or classified pink? They are pink, yes. Wow, this is looking like the best one so far. <laughs> what? Bit of a struggle. This you is more of a struggle than the shoe now. wrap. Oh, you have to. Oh, oh, no way. Oh, have you got an idea? Oh, in the poo tube. No, you wouldn't have done that because I'm not meant to go near litter. No, that would be disgusting. I'm running out of ideas here, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good thinking. I like I your thinking. You I like that thinking. Am I hot or cold? Warm. Have I looked in the place it is? No. Yeah! <laughs> Do you not think that was a good one? Yeah! I was trying to. I put it in here to disguise it with the ball. <laughs> I see you're good at following clues. This one is with something I do not use. Ooh, what do I not use? It's got to be the bookshelf. The book? How dare you! Ha! <laughs> wow, it was in the place I never do read stuff and <laughs> use. You've got, you've got more books than that. Yeah, I have. I don't know where they are. I've not read a single one of them. No. The next clue can be found with ease if you get a sudden urge to sneeze. Yes. <laughs> um. What makes you sneeze? Hay fever. Right. So where could it be? Garden. Oh no! You! 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 What's you. wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, babe? You're trying to get me wet, is what's happening here! <laughs> Put it in front of the sprinkler, have I? What a shame! <laughs> <laughs> that was the best idea ever! <laughs> you shouldn't be running like that, though. That is funny. Okay, open okay. and read. You're almost there, no need to sigh. Why not check a place that's high? Ooh, like the sky. The sky. I mean, I'm joking, babe. I'm not God, all right? I didn't get that <laughs> high. This one is actually a bit tricky, but um, and you should get it. Am I in the right place, though, in the garden? Well, kind of, yeah. You're just not looking the right way. You put it next to the sprinkler again? No. No, that was funny once. Can I see it from where I'm stood? Yeah, I can, yeah. Very s slightly. Right, well you just looked at the hedge. Oh. I don't see anything. Just maybe get closer, maybe a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Got it. That was quick. <laughs> okay, what does it say? Winner! Winner, winner, chicken Yay! dinner! Yay! What do I win? A trip to Starbucks for an iced coffee! Yeah!
It's the best day ever. Okay, so Leon is having a shower, so we can go and get a nice ice Starbucks. But I just wanted to tell you why she can't hear me. The actual prize wasn't a Starbucks trip because we can do that anyway. It's literally two minutes down the road. Even though she was over the moon and very happy about that, which is amazing. The actual prize is I've booked a night away for us tonight, so we can just kick it, chill, watch some films, eat some bad food and just take away the stress of pregnancy for a little bit I guess because as a like a dad to be when you're not carrying the baby it can be quite hard to know how I can help Liana the most the worst part is the mental I can obviously help her physically like I can cook nice healthy meals for us I can give her back rubs I can help her with videos or help her around the house when she can't lift heavy anymore and stuff like that even though she seems to not listen to my advice and does it anyway she still thinks she's independent and not pregnant at all even though she is very pregnant right now and I'd rather not lift anything she cleaned the whole bedroom by herself yesterday whilst I was out with my friends. Very annoyed, but also very happy because it looks amazing. But as as the boy in the relationship or as the partner, it really is hard to know how to help. So I, I just thought maybe a night away would help a little bit, even if it only helps 5%, that's better than 0%. So when we get to Starbucks, I'm, we're gonna get the drinks, then we're gonna go back to the car and then I'm gonna tell her, oh, by the way, the actual surprise is we're going away for a night and we'll see how she reacts. And I'm, I'm guessing happy, I'm hoping happy. Maybe she doesn't wanna go anywhere. See, I'm overthinking things now, but I, I'll see you at Starbucks, I guess. Okay, Bobby, you're ready and fresh. Well, I wouldn't say fresh. <laughs> I've also had a shave. Probably absolutely no one cares. But, it's actually um, really late to be going for a Starbucks. Yeah, I know, but it's okay because the sun's still out, so technically it's great. Yeah, I'll get like a, maybe like a peach iced tea or something. That sounds really good and refreshing. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> Right, baby man, I'm not being funny. What? I don't think there's a Starbucks anywhere near us here. Never you mind where the Starbucks is, all right? Who's driving? Would you get in a taxi and tell them where you want to go? What? We yes. Yeah, you, you would, wouldn't you? Well, this isn't a taxi, so you just, you know, sit back, relax, and I'm taking you to a different Starbucks. Okay. I'm very confused, but we're in a very beautiful area. This is so cute! Are you taking me for a walk? This is the cutest little farming village ever. Is it a farming village? It looks like it. Oh, are we going for a little walk? That's actually, oh my God! Ah, oh, I should have done my face of makeup! Because then at least I could have taken a cute little picture. Uh, just Trump, I think I smell something. Right, so we're definitely in a farm. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you see where them sheep are? No. But yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, oh there's babies. Oh my goodness! There's babies. Anyway, where them baby sheep are. Yep, I that, see baby sheep. They're just a minute the, away. From oh, the, the Starbucks. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What in the middle of a farm? Oh my goodness! Look at the little bab. Oh, oh my, my god! Goodness. Look at this one down here. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! They're looking at me. It's just Hello. like we're in Wales. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Looking at me. You say, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at the little wee you. Hello. Hello. I love you. <laughs> She's sniffing at me. It's like being home. I'm very confused. Why? I'm just very confused and I can't see a thing. We're in the middle of a field. What? That's uh, that's a teepee. Right that's over a very there. big teepee. What, is there a Starbucks in the teepee? <laughs> <gasps> what? <laughs> What do you think? I'm confused. So we're not at Starbucks, obviously. Oh, are we camping? We're glamping in a teepee. This is so cool. Isn't it cool? So we've got a little fire to keep us warm at night. We've got the bed. We've got all of this. Oh, a few games. There's games. I've also packed barbecue stuff. And a barbecue. And I've... What about my Starbucks? Oh, well, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh! We've got a cute little seating area where we can chill. A nice fire pit slash barbecue. I've got loads of barbecue stuff for us. Uh, I'm, I'm not really dressed appropriately for this, am I? I've bought you a coat, don't worry. Oh, oh actually, <laughs> I've got something. Oh. I'll get it in a minute. Okay. We've got a heated bath over here, so you heat it with the wooden fire, the log fire, and then you, you can lay in it. We're right on the water. Can you imagine living here? Well, yes, that'd be great, wouldn't it? So, and we've oh also. My God, I've got We've got a kitchen oh area. No way. Big picture. That is beautiful. <laughs> We've got a little kitchen area over here. Chocolate eggs. Eggs fresh on the farm. Oh, and a and a cake. Cake where? In there. <gasps> oh my oh my god, free eggs! Oh my free gosh. eggs from the farm. Oh, we can roast some marshmallows. I did, I've I never did, seen anything like it. I just thought we could get away for a night. Um, I, I, I can't promise what I've packed is very good for you. <laughs> but uh, Oh, this is the cutest. Thank you, Fabio. Of course, no problem. One question. What? 
Where's the toilet? The <laughs> um, oh, just there. Happy <laughs> Vern. You need a sprinkle. I can't squat anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. There is a toilet. Oh God. Yeah. So here's the toilet. Oh, for God's sake. No way. Oh no. There's a bloody thing to get over. This is a very pregnant woman safe, is it? Maybe I should have just booked us a spa or something. Oh, here she goes. Oh my god, it looks so cute with the sun setting as well. <laughs> oh my god, this is a scene. <laughs> and here we go. There it is. Oh my god, anyone can walk in on you. There's no lock on it. Well, yeah, but no one's going to walk in on you, hopefully. Right, well, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, are we actually going? I do need a video. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you know how I packed your case? Yes, sir. Right, well, I've got a little surprise for you. We've got this whole field to ourselves. So right. I thought, <laughs> I need to pack some sort of gift for living on a farm for a couple of days. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> your very own farmer, Zach. Yeah! You are now officially a farmer, or cowgirl, or whatever you want I to call I feel it. like one of those city girls who's been, like, pulled out and forced to live in the farm, and she, she didn't know how to dress. So yeah, all you need just... is sunglasses, and you're there, babe. Wait. Oh. Oh gosh. Yep. There Beautiful. she is. Crocs. Two different socks <laughs> arrived. PJ bottoms, dress, and two jumpers. Are you cold? Yes. It is cold, isn't it? My hat. But I did manage to get the barbecue started, which is like a 10 out of 10 for me because I'm usually useless at stuff like this. Oh, if you guys oh. ever watched our video where we went to the haunted cabin with Harry, oh, I we almost set the place uh, on fire. We almost set the place on fire because we couldn't get the barbecue going. Could we get a throw <laughs> um, <back? laughs> Yeah, throwback if you didn't see that video. Oh my god, you idiots. You need to drag it away. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh my god, my heart is racing. This isn't even funny. Is there a fire extinguisher? But, um, yeah, we've got to say, this is really cute here. Um, how happy are you out of 10? If I had a hat that covered my ears, I'd be 11. But right now, I'm a nine and a half. I'll take a nine and a half. We've now officially got the burgers on the barbecue, <clears> so we know it's working. <laughs> You're not supposed to cook until the flame's gone, babe. Don't tell anyone. The sun is setting in the distance. I don't even know if you can see it. It's nice and warm now because of the fire. Oh, you can see it if I lower it that much. The camera battery's about to die, which is <gasps> fine. I've got a spare. Oh, it's okay then. So I guess we'll catch up with you just before bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're in bed. Um, <laughs> I've got a head torch on. We've got the laptop and all of a sudden there's a gale force wind out of nowhere. And Liana's got a <laughs> massive fear of like wind and darkness. I hate the sound of wind and I hate the dark. Without our torches, that's the only light we've got. That is the only light we've got. Doesn't do a thing. And it's pitch black outside and there's windows there that anyone could be looking in at us at any point and we wouldn't have any clue. Basically perhaps. Liana's got a fear of everything that I've brought her away. <laughs> Two. Good morning, CL fam. <laughs> we made it through the night. Yay! How did you sleep, babe? I did it, so I'm rewarding myself with my J12 that I didn't drink yesterday because I knew I'd need the wee through the night. I like that. And how many wees did you have in your she wee? One. One. And I did it. You want to... No, I actually won't show. And then, no, we're not going to show when you're yawning. And then about 5 a.m. we went to the toilet block. Um, toilet block? The toilet in the trees. Yeah, and it was nice and warm outside. We both had a whizzle and then came back and went back to sleep again. So actually, you know what? It was really nice once the wind died down. Ever since we got here, Connor wants to see the chickens. He's desperate to see the chickens. So we're going for a walk around the field so that we can come back and say hello to the little cluck clucks. Before our breakfast hamper arrives. Yes. Oh, we're taking it home to eat because we have to go home really quickly. Uh, I mean, Liana doesn't like eating from anyone else's pots and pans, which is fair enough. <laughs> Maybe sound like a psycho. So we're going to have to leave to eat the breakfast and, oh what, get a Starbucks, I'm guessing? No, my oh, wife's no. coming tomorrow, I need to make sure the house looks tidy. Ah, uh, and tidy the house. <laughs> I hope they don't think we're the food people. My goodness. Because we are not the food people. Oh my goodness, they're all coming out, they think we're the food people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, well, chicken man. Do you know chickens can be quite vicious? No, but they can also be great pets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, chicken people. We're not the food people. I'm sorry for confusing you. This is like Podge in the morning. We're away from Podge, but we still get the begging for food in the morning. Oh, my goodness. They're having none of it. We're trying to leave. 
They're just not leaving us the thing with the food people. Guys, I'm sorry, but that is just not us. Our breakfast has been delivered. Yes, sir. All locally sourced. But I can't have, I can't have the milk because it's fresh from the other. <laughs> and I can't have the eggs because it's fresh from the bum. Bobby so, man, <laughs> eggs don't come from chickens, bums. <laughs> and our friends over there laid them anyway. Neither of them are pasteurized. We've got avo, tomatoes, lemon, butter. A sourdough loaf, fresh orange juice. I love orange juice. I'm so happy. Didn't realise we were in France. So we were going to sit outside to eat, but the rain it started raining. Has poured as soon as we've got back. Um, we di I did go Starbucks. Anyway, you guys have probably wondered what is going on with the title. What is this big decision that they've had to make, or whatever? When well, you're not sure what you're going to title it, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we keep you up to date with everything in our pregnancy because you're part of the family. But also, we like to involve you even in the boring parts, which is pretty much what this is. My last midwife appointment. We drove all the way out because obviously we moved house so we drove to where we were supposed to go for this appointment but they hadn't actually told me that they'd moved the appointment from one building because I used to go I used to have to go to a school to get my midwife appointments but the school was closed because it was half term and they hadn't told me where I was supposed to go so we sat outside for like an hour because usually when you're like five minutes late for your appointment they phone you and they're like hi where are you so I was waiting for a phone call so I could know where I was supposed to go I only have an office number and nobody ever answers so then nobody ever phoned me back and nobody has phoned me back since and that was like two weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know where I stand. Um, my GP right now that I'm trying to register with near us is currently only taking appointments for people who are already registered Registered because they've had a they've had a case of COVID or something. So you're not even allowed to just walk in and go and get a registry for, form. And they're only open like eight till 12. They've got the worst GP hours. I've never heard anything like it. Eight till 12 they're open or something. So I can't even register here. So we thought about it for ages. And I know a lot of you know, I've been like stressing about it. I don't know what's happening. So I've, I've kind of been like racking my brain i don't really know what's going on well you guys already know that we've had the worst kind of yeah. journey i was scared. with midwives from the beginning with the nhs and i don't ever want to put the nhs down because we know how stretched they are they're understaffed and but yeah. um basically there was no point of us ever going to an nhs midwife because we've learned nothing they've not really done anything for us we've been passed around a different midwife every single appointment so i'd, I'd rather have just not done it in the first place and gone private which is what we have decided to do. So the big decision <laughs> is we've decided to go private. It's gonna give you yeah. less stress. It's raining heavily now. <laughs> We've only had two appointments with this midwife and we already know 10 times yeah. more than we... We didn't even know half the stuff. It's one of those things where I thought if we are blessed enough to be able to do it privately, have a little bit less stress, like being blessed to have the opportunity, I thought it was probably the best way forward. What are you doing? I need to get the sheeps in, don't I? <laughs> Good day for it. Hello. <laughs> so there's not really much more we need to say during this uh, yeah, so, rain no, season. Yeah, so yeah, the, new, the news is we've decided to go private. I am also now 100% sorted in having a home birth. Fingers crossed if everything goes well and I'm going to have a water birth at home. So you know, we'll, keep, we'll keep you updated as we always do. But for now we're going to stay in this teepee whilst the rain pours down. I think we should get in the bath. We should we get in the bath? <laughs> Hello there. This is nice. Yeah. Ah, no! Cheeky That's toe. Uh, There's a hair on it. Yeah, it's my hair. Oh. You're pulling off my head. I would let you come closer, but then we might have a nip slip and nobody wants to see Connor's top half naked. We get your toe. Ah, it's up my belly. This is really, really It's like lovely. preparing for birth. Yes. Ah. No, not in here. <laughs> not very sanitary. I've got grass on my chest. <laughs> I've got chest going into my belly, but I know it was. <laughs> There's a lot of movement from Babby. He's thinking, wow, this water's really nice and warm. Yeah, but does he have a rubber ring? He's loving it, right? Or is he saying, like, this is too warm, get me out of here? Is no, he's not there? saying it's not too warm. It's barely even warm. Do you want your towel so we can have some smalls? Possibly. <laughs> 